Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we've got good friend of the channel Buzz with us again, and he has one of those what cars. And you're going to love this one. Buzz, what year, make, and model is this one? This is a 1968 Mercury Park Lane convertible with optional yacht paneling. You're going to say, what is yacht paneling? And I'm going to show you that in a second. So come on alongside me. Buzz, let's first of all show the beauty of this car and this one looks really really good is this a this a, this has to be a survivor uh, yes it is it, it's had uh, some amateur restoration done to it uh, over the years but it's pretty much all uh, original what's been uh, done to the car has been to factory specs and uh, uh, it's basically a survivor and I love this right here how you could see in the turn signal you could see it on both ends you could see the light bulb in there and the nice nose very flat like a brick as I show that coming down the road at you but let's show the big feature of this car they call this yacht paneling yes uh, it was uh, the same paneling uh, uh, vinyl paneling that they uh, that they used on the uh, station wagons and uh, Mercury thought, uh, why not try it on the uh, convertibles and, and uh, fastback hardtops uh, to see how people liked it. And uh, it was a one-year only option. And uh, they're pretty scarce. There's only about 15 of these left. Wow. And look at how clean this paneling is. I mean, and even, even on the gas cap, <laughs> that's... Tremendous. When you want to say something unique, come to the channel, My Car Story with Lou68, having that big reflector there. But uh, take a look at, uh, I want to show you this hubcap, because this thing has some pounds to it. I mean, this is at the Mercury Center. <laughs> Tell me what they call this, Buzz. This is a This upgrade. was called the Chariot uh, Wheel Cover. Um, because it kind of resembled the uh, the chariots uh, back in like the movie Ben Hur. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind uh, kind of got a turbine look to it, and uh, uh, it's it's really a signature mark of the car. I see I see a little reflective piece in there too. So if you're driving sideways, I could see yeah. that uh, that you see that There's there. A little mercury head in the middle. Yeah, which is great. Now we've got the top up, and the interesting reason why is Buzz shared with me he's never had the top down, so we didn't want to potentially chance it. Let me show the back of the car. And uh, mess it up, so we'll keep the top up. And maybe at some point Buzz will take it down, and who knows. We'll see it there. What a Mercury dealer badge that is. Holy That's, cow. <laughs> That's actually uh, uh, an aftermarket thing I put on there because uh, it just kind of looked cool and added some color to the back of the car. Yeah, really neat tail lamp with all the chrome etchings in there. Let's open up the trunk, shall we? We've got some treats for them here. I think you're going to like these treats. This nice chrome strip down the center. The reverse lights there. Single exhaust, I see. Let me feature that, too. Well, we got it. The keys in the car, Buzz? Yeah. All right, that's fine. I have no problem featuring the back while we're doing this. Let me stay one more shot to let you ponder that. We'll use our time wisely. The reason I left the keys in the car is the uh, ignition uh, switch is in a really awkward, awkward place that's very... Let's I don't know the why trunk. they did that. Maybe it was an anti-theft thing. Okay. Uh, once it's in there, there's Mothra. So we have Mothra ready to fly. Now, why Mothra? Uh, I just thought it kind of went with Mercury. I didn't. I, I name all my cars and didn't know what to name this one. Um, so I uh, didn't want to name it Monarch because that's a different model car from older days, but. Uh, so I named it Mothra because um, I used to have a 57 DeSoto called Godzilla. So I thought Godzilla and Mothra, 
they were good buddies. So. <laughs> That's so unbothered. Not at first. They had to become buddies. They That's to, right. They had to learn to get along. That's right. There's the hard top that you could see. And there's the advertisement for this. And I'll give people just a second there on that. And then the all-important Marty report said there's no question that what you're seeing is this one. Well, wow. you know, it's pretty expensive for 68. Well, it was uh, really, it, 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 it's really a baby Lincoln. Uh, it, it rides fantastic. Uh, you're just a king of the road in this car. It's so heavy and so wide and so powerful that uh, you just feel like everybody better get out of your way. <laughs> That's great. You've got a massive trunk here. You can see that if I just back up a little bit and give you that. Beautiful. All right, Buzz, while you close that up, may I go in the interior? Sure. Thank you. So let's just share that. Actually, I want to share that door panel. There's a lot going on there. We have carpet down here, this nice vinyl with it looks like some padding in there. That door just opened a little wider for me. And then nice handle here, large armrest. You can see the bypass lock listed there, your vent window, and your speaker. Your pedals and your instrumentation. You've got your power seating, your back seat. I'm noticing a nice pull down there if needed. Here's your top. But notice also you've got your speaker here. And as we sit inside it, your Mercury emblem, badging. Really like that speedometer. Has a lot of depth to it. Notice too, if we get a little closer, you can see this when you hit like 70. There's a little red strip in there. If I could catch that right off the light. It's got a nice, luxurious feel, doesn't it, Buzz? It really does. Uh, the uh, power steering is really smooth. Uh, the car has factory air. Uh, AM FM stereo. Um, the only thing it doesn't have that I wish it did was uh, cruise control. Because once you get going in this car, you just want to keep going. Yeah. Uh, I see what you mean about that uh, unique position for the uh, key. A little challenging there. And then over on the far side, we have the word Park Lane, letting you know that it's the top of the line. And of course, your park reverse neutral. And on this side, we've got a top up and down. And here, notice how it has that piece that shifts into there. Just the stock goes right in, like so. Beautiful. Let's pop the hood, shall we? Car is powered by a Marauder 390. Puts out about uh, 320 horsepower. That's nice. That is real nice. I like the Mercury there. You've got your Mercury badging. 394. Now is this some kind of smog? What what is this? Do we know? Is that for the air conditioning? Uh, this, or? I believe, is the heater control valve. Okay. Right there. Okay. And then factory air. Yeah, the car has some, some patina to it, but I, I want to leave it just the oh, way it exactly. is. Oh, exactly. No, this is great. Interesting little washer bottle there. And that's interesting. What's that little can for? Do we know? Uh, that is some kind of a vacuum uh, reservoir for probably the windshield wipers. Okay. okay. 
and then the mercury on the head there. All this nice padding so that it gives you a quiet, smooth ride. Let's uh, fire it up, shall we? We'll sure. let it idle for a minute. I'll stand back there. We'll tap the brakes just so we can see the taillights. Yeah, the pit taillights are really cool on this car. goes. <laughs> it wanted me to come back. That's smooth. Buzz, uh, step back in there and step on the brake lights for just a moment, would you please? Oh yeah, those are nice. Real nice. Well, let's give it just a little rev, shall we? Let's take it for a ride. Sure. So I'm here with Buzz, and we are driving in the Mercury Park Lane with the yacht siding to it. How's it feel? Oh, it's like riding on a cloud. It is like riding on a cloud. This thing is great. I wanted to show people real quick where we're driving. This nice road back here, which you can see. Yeah, this is just absolutely wonderful. I mean, the car is, talk about smooth. Big, heavy, wonderful, beautiful. This is good stuff, Buzz. So, what draws you to the the unique? What makes what makes why why that? Well, I don't know. You know, our, our family grew up with uh, Ramblers. We drove Ramblers, and they're kind of oddball cars. And <laughs> yeah. I kind of used to got used to uh, kids teasing me about you know driving a Rambler around, and uh, I had to defend myself a lot, so I, I, I kind of like the cars that are different. Uh, I have nothing against uh, Fords and Chevys, but uh, they're a dime a dozen, and uh, it's just kind of cool to have something different that draws a crowd at a car show, and everybody says, what is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is definitely the what is it car for sure. I mean, when I saw, when I saw this one, uh, and you've had it now for a year and a half. You were kind enough to share it with me right off the bat. And I was like, this is really, really good. I like how they have these little toggle switches and the mercury head there. And even like right now, I'll show it. It has this pin striping in the door, which you can see, which I couldn't see before because the sun wasn't out, which is really cool. But this is just a great car. And I just want to show you, see how smooth it is. like riding on a cloud. You can drive this car to California and not be fatigued. It's a great car. Yeah. This is absolutely fantastic. Buzz, what a treat bringing your car out, sharing with the audience again. So happy that you have this car. Thanks so much for sharing it. Thanks for being on my car store. Thank you, Lou.